I was exposed to cold water and just by a thought I was able to make the skin temperature not going down while I was uh, exposed to cold water on my skin, ice water. Your skin temperature didn't go down? Yes, normally it goes down. That is what everybody thinks, isn't it? And yes, 74 people before me, they did it and they saw all the same graphics. It goes down and then I did it. I didn't do anything. Why? Because I am in command of my breath. And with that, I become in, in command of my alchemy. And I'm able then to scent and to manipulate any part of my body. Do you feel the pain and divorce yourself from the suffering? Or do you literally not feel any discomfort? You follow the breath and thus the hormonal system, the endocrine system, which we have shown in scientific research, is really active within your command. And with that comes the adrenaline, the epinephrine, the opiates, and the cannabinoids. All right, now I have a- They are very strong. I have a really, they're really strong painkillers as well, yes. right? Yes, yes. So that's interesting. So you're saying that you're actually killing the pain by tapping into that system because you've kicked off all this neuropharmacology, basically. Yes. Uh, these breathing techniques I've learned to do in extreme cold. Very soon I was able to stay and prolong my time in ice water, feeling great. But is the breath just about oxygenating the tissues? Ox uh, uh, oxygenating uh, to go past the lymphatic knots, uh, which normally inhibits the, uh, the oxygen to go deeper. Now we found a way to go past these knots into the lymphatic system of your body and making you able to alkalize your blood within a couple of minutes. And with that, a, when the uh, blood is the right pH degree, then suddenly the neurology of the mind, which is el like electricity, is able to run through. If you go into the, to the eyes, you feel the focus will be on your feeling. How to get this feeling into adaptation and to overcome whatever is coming. The cold has been my teacher. I just followed the teacher, the feeling, uh, learned to let go. Intuitively, I felt, I want to do this. I did yoga, I did kung fu, did all kinds of things and, and uh, uh, great. But the cold is really merciless but righteous. And I was ready to go in. I felt intuitively I want to go in because it has got something. I don't know what it is. I went in and I felt it. The connection was there beyond any word. And that's what I was looking for is tapping into deeper parts of the brain, feeling pure energy, feeling power, innate capacitated power we have to deal with that. I was looking for that. And finally, I began to realize, but it's all in the mind. Oh yes. So learning to let go in the right way, following your breath, the breath is able to uh, prime uh, the body and then your mind, the neurology of the mind, if I'm able to make my skin temperature not going down while being exposed to ice cold water, skin temperature, that's power. And that power is the same power we can learn to embrace and awaken uh, in which we are able to tackle any stressor in the world. Any stressor emotionally and physically and mentally, whatever year you come up, we are built to be able to oppose that, to get through and to learn and not to be afraid because we have the power of the mind. So something that I didn't expect when I started Impact Theory is the number of people that stop me, the number of people that write to me and tell me that they're contemplating suicide. We got so many people who, uh, who don't commit suicide because they found this. Mm because nobody wants not to live, but they don't know how to live. Right. And this will reactivate and resets their body to the way nature meant it to be. And that is to be happy, strong, and healthy. Yeah, talk to me about your wife and how... This is the way I started. My wife jumped from an eight story down in 95, four children and I had no money, just there with four children. My children made me survive and nature healed me. 
and that was the cold. Because in the cold, you shut up. And all this turmoil, the emotional confusion, the broken heart, it's all physical, it's all real. The cold is able to shut it up, shut it down, and survive. And with that, I came slowly but surely in control over my emotions. Now, I was powerless then with my wife, who was uh, schizophrenic and psychosis, that put all kinds of pills in, uh, injections, didn't work whatsoever. There I was powerless, but now I'm in power. So the, the sort of general root cause, because you've talked about being able to alleviate symptoms of arthritis, even thrown in cancer, uh, because to you the root cause of all of that is inflammation. D uh, inflammation causing deregulation on cell level, in the DNA, in the genome expression. It's all the same thing. So there is a mediocre state of our vascular uh, conditioning. Killer number one in our society is cardiovascular related. And it's amazing how simple we can tackle this serial killer, the cardiovascular related diseases. And for that, we take cold showers. Shock to the system that does yes. into the Yes, hormesis. Uh, we do it consciously and with that, we connect even with the brain, with the vascular system all over. Uh, if you do the breathing before you go to sleep or if you do the cold showers, then you will sleep better. So cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. The, the way we are schooled is to take on that autoimmune diseases, cancer, depression and alike and power, gaining power and being insensitive is normal. I think it is sick. And we got to stand up and show through scientific uh, uh, research that uh, no, uh, no speculation that it is not so. Mindfulness is very much researched. And it shows that uh, through mindfulness, you are able to activate deeper parts of the brain. They become more alive because simply the blood flow goes to these deeper parts. But what we have seen now in the brain scans not even seasoned practitioners in mindfulness are able to activate those parts you have been activating. And I say it's innately capacitated to anybody, but it needs the conscious technique and the passing on of that. Not money, etc., but it, it is there, but it needs to be awakened. It needs to be shown. If you always walked this way to the house because that's your knowledge, you don't know the shortcut which was always there.